He is the most dangerous Fed we've ever seen in power. He has a whole task force that's dirty along with him. That makes him way more powerful than maybe a Sachs or, you know, any of the Feds, the Ray Ray, Jukebox that we've seen in the past. He has a whole team that has his best interests at heart and wants to bring out his plan. You know what I mean? And we've seen in, in you know, part one how Don Carter pretty much got the hottest by the balls. You know what I mean? He, he, he he's also been fucking with Tariq and, and, you know, trying to get closing on him. But he ain't really been able to touch Tariq like that. You know what I mean? He, he th he's threatened Tasha and getting her right, out of witness protection, which could possibly happen in part two, which would be why we see her again, right? But the Tejadas are really the ones who are going to suffer, you know? And I feel like the Don Carter's relationship with Drew is probably what's going to end have him end up getting locked up, right? We know that Don Carter doesn't want civilians getting hurt. So why else could Drew get arrested? Obviously, he must have killed a civilian or been involved in something dangerous to the point where he gets locked up, right? And maybe Monet was also involved in that too. So there's a lot going on in that storyline with Drew, with Monet, with Don Carter and his task force. That's something that we really need to look out for, right? Because I don't see Don Carter making it out of this season.